With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question here is, a homozygous tall plant bearing red color flower is crossed with the homozygous dwarf plant bearing white flowers. Mention the phenotypes of the offsprings obtained in the F1 generation. Now here the parental generation P1 is homozygous and two pair of contrasting characters are taken so it will be capital T capital T and capital R capital R. So the another um, parental generation uh, P1 is small t small t and small r small r. Now the gametes formed will be that is gametes that will form by meiosis that will be T R capital T capital R and small t small r. Now when the F1 progeny means the uh, this cross pollination will take place and it will result in the formation of this capital T, small t, capital R, small r. So, here there is one capital T and one capital R. So, these are dominant alleles. So, this small t, that is the dwarfness, it will not be able to express itself because of the presence of this dominant allele, that is capital T. Capital T is dominant. And similarly, this capital R, that is also dominant. So here in F1 progeny, they all will be uh, this tall plants with red flowers. So F1 tall plants with red flowers. Now when this F1 progenies, when there's a, it, they are self pollinated, then the offsprings in the F2 generation will be that is when they are self pollinated. So the F2 progeny will be before these gametes will be formed. So here the gametes formed will be capital T capital R capital T small r small t capital R small t small r so we can write here capital t capital r capital t small r small t capital r small t small r similarly capital t capital r so these are the gametes that are the combination of gametes that are possible and the progenies we will uh, observe by this punnett scale so this is the punnett scale So these are the gametes. Now self pollination will take place and what we will get this capital T, capital T and capital R, capital R they will combine to form capital T, capital T, capital R, capital R. Similarly capital T, capital T, R, small r, capital T, small t, R, R. So in this way we will solve this and a Punnett scale will be formed. So here capital T, capital T as both x on x or y axis capital T is present and capital R small r capital T capital T small r small r capital T small t capital R small r capital T small t small r small r capital T small t capital R capital R capital T small t capital R small r this is capital T small t capital R small r capital T small t and these are smaller smaller so it is very easy to solve this and here it will small t small t capital R smaller now here small t small t and capital R smaller and small t small t R smaller so we can observe here that these offerings they have at least some have to uh, both the uh, homozygous dominant forms but in this we can see there is one capital T one capital R one capital T one capital R 
so there are nine such progenies nine such offsprings which have one capital t and one capital r so such progenies will have the phenotypes phenotypes means we don't have to tell the genetic makeup we have to tell whether how many such numbers will be uh, tall or tall with red flowers tall with dwarf tall with uh, just uh, sorry tall with white flowers tall with red flowers so they will be tall with tall plants with red flowers so we have highlighted this with yellow now second we can see here it is small t small t capital r small r small t small t and when cap one capital r and small t small t they have both capital r so this condition in which there is small t small t and one capital r small t small t and one capital r they are three in number now this in this this is a homozygous recessive form so the height of the plant will be dwarf it will be dwarf plant with red flowers so these are the phenotypes so next condition is in this we can see there is one capital t and uh, two small r two capital t small r and one capital t two small r so this condition in which there is at least one dominant allele is present that is capital t and r form is homozygous uh, recessive so here this or small r will be able to uh, show its express uh, expression and the flower in this case will be uh, here it will be tall but with white flowers so this is based on the law of independent assortment and last one this is small t small r these are also three in number and this is one in number we can highlight it with pink one so this this is one in number and this progeny is homozygous recessive in both the characters that is the plant will be dwarf and with white flowers so these are the phenotypes of the offsprings that will be observed in the f2 generation dwarf red tall white dwarf white thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today